Oh, there's my shadow. <laughs> um, happy Sabbath, my friends. And I haven't been posting lately, but I, um, well, one of the reasons why is because I've been on this incredible spirit-filled, spirit-filled journey that um, I'm going to have to sit down and really catch you guys up. And uh, we're really hoping this week, uh, even not just me, but even Craig, committing to um, getting back on track with uh, touching base with all of you to bring you up to speed. Some of you already know that um, we have been given the opportunity to start a ministry here. Uh, children's ministry, actually. <laughs> the way it happened is just, it's crazy. Because we had been in this community uh, for a while. When we first got here, uh, we went out in the community. We got a chance to meet Robin at the library, the community center. And we knew that the Kids Rec program was going on. And then we also had another opportunity uh, to meet with the uh, the the lady in charge of the chamber, her name was Robin too. We may had great connections, but but in a way we we kind of dropped the ball. We um, there wasn't a lot here going on at the lifestyle center. Um, I had like you know two very two sessions with very few uh, clients, and so uh, we ended up doing a lot a lot of grounds work, a lot of grounds work here. Uh, which was, I enjoyed, um, but um, we worked really hard and long, and uh, we just never followed up on the opportunity that the Lord gave us. Well, to make a long story short, a couple weeks ago, um, we were like, we're going to commit. We prayed. We, we asked the Lord uh, to forgive us, and we said, uh, we asked him, will you give us another opportunity? And he gave us another opportunity. And as soon as we did that, the floodgates were open. Now, there's so much to share. Um, I don't even know where to begin. Uh, but what I do want to announce is that um, I am going into full-time ministry this with the children. I've got tons of great um, footage uh, of all the activities we've been doing at the rec center. We have had three Fridays in a row. Uh, the first Friday we had 12 kids. The second Friday we had 30 kids. And this just the other day we had, I believe, like 20, 21. Um, been very transparent with the librarian that... You know, our business, <laughs> if you want to call it a business, we work for the Lord, is to save souls. And we want to prepare God's kingdom. But we're doing so in a manner. A soul is to build up these children, to bring the community together, and uh, bring the parents in. And just, we're, we're building a community that is based um yeah, on Christ, Christ's methods, his model, but love, love, love. And, and what I, what we talked to the librarian after a lot of these events is we told her, we said, you know what? We want people to know that we're missionaries. We want them to know that we love the Lord, but we're not here to, um, Bible thump. You know, we're not here to you know, brimstone and the end is coming and you need to wake up. That's not what our goal is for the children. And now what our goal is for uh, the the community. Our, the goal for the community is to bring them together. That's what we're going to be doing. Now, there's so many miracle stories. I, I don't even know where to begin. But um, one of the miracle stories is just the other day, and this is going to blow. We were uh, talking about... Um, getting a newsletter. So uh, this is the thing. This is a really small community that we're in and they don't have a newspaper. So me and Chris, we were kind of brainstorming after the event and I said, you know what? And Chris had mentioned a flyer. He said, maybe we should work on a flyer. I said, yeah, maybe we should do like a newsletter. I don't know whose idea it was. It probably was Chris's. He's come up with some great ideas. And I'm like, you know, I brought it up again. I said, you know, I got to get started on this newsletter so people know who we are in the community and what we're doing. And not only are we working with the children, but, you know, we've been at the, the senior center too. So we want to integrate, we want to integrate everybody, the whole community. So uh, after we got done with that, I texted Robin at the library to send her the pictures uh, of our event because she was there and I always take pictures. 
And then I thanked her for all her help. And then she texted back and she says, oh, by the way, there's a, a lady by the name of Leslie that um, here's her number. And she stopped in and, and she wants to help you out. And she's from the Pavailer. I don't know what the Pavailer is. So um, I was getting ready for my Sabbath prep. And I, you know, I got the message and I'm thinking, okay, that's great. You know, she wants to volunteer and I'll probably give her a call later. But the Holy Spirit, and this has been happening so much lately, pressed upon me. needed to call. I needed to call now. So, okay, I pick up the phone, and <laughs> I usually don't do this, and I made the random call. Well, I made the random call. This Leslie gets on the phone. I'm like, oh, you know, I'm Stacy from, uh, you know, the, the kids club and at the library, and, you know, Robin gave me your number. She says, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She said, well, my name is Leslie, and, and she says, um, I work for the Pavilion. I'm a news reporter. <laughs> I'm like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? We were just talking about the newsletter and how we needed. Now you see, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you, listen very carefully what I'm saying. This is how the Lord's been working. And and it is not just in, in me and Chris's life. The, the 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 other our other friends, they have had the same type of things happening to them. I mean this is the time that God is moving his people. And if you are willing, and, and um, you know, I, we see these small ministries going out now. The small ministries are going out. You know, we're getting to the point where we're going to be meeting in homes. We're getting to the point where lifestyle centers like this, and this is where I, 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 I was working, they're going to be shutting down. We've been told that they're going to be shutting down. Now, that doesn't mean we don't work in collaboration with them, collaboration right now with them, but it's just going to be going because, because of what's happening in the world, because there is a changing political climate and with the vaccines and the COVID and we're, we're losing our rights. And, you know, this is, this is happening very, very. So with that, so, and our goal is too, we have a Eden restoration, which is, uh, our, our big umbrella ministry, uh, which we've been brainstorming oh, for a long, long time. And God, again, is aligning things. Anyway, I got to get back to the story. So um, oh, so listen to this. What ended up happening is we had this wonderful conversation. As soon as she said, so here I am, I'm listening to her. And I told her what had happened with the um, just talking about the newsletter. And so this was really something interesting. She says, yeah, that, that is awesome. That's, that's kind of, you know, th this is like God. And then, then she kind of stopped, right? She stopped and she took it back. And then she said, oh, you know, it's, it's, that's, these things happen. And to hear the God thing, because as soon as I heard that, it's like the Holy Spirit allowed me to hear her slip. It's like she slipped up and said, God. And then because she's a reporter and she don't know who she's talking to, I think she just needed to be very careful, right? So, I mean, she don't know who I am. She don't know if I'm a believer. She don't know I'm a missionary. And I get that. You know, we're just living in an age where you have to be careful sometimes what you say and to who. But that was made for me. And as soon as she said that, I proceeded to my story again. Like, this is, this is a divine orchestration of God. It just is because of us just talking about the newsletter and then as soon as I said that the floodgates were open she just me and her we talked she said you know what I've been doing this we're looking for volunteers as an aging population and we we need help and we need life in and breathed into this 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 community and she she's things that God has put on my heart and Chris's heart and I'm like this is crazy. This is crazy. Now get this. She said she was going to help us. She's going to come and interview us. But get this. The best part of this story is, she said, this is going to, this is going to blow you away. Because this has happened more than once this week. She says, you know, it's kind of strange. She said, uh, I had construction workers here today and they um, accidentally cut my electricity wire. And she lost all electricity in her home. So she said, you know, I had nothing to do. And she said she never goes to the library. But today she decided to go to the library and there we were. And that's when she seen us doing the kids activities. And she, she saw that and she's like, I got to get a hold of these people. Can you believe that?
Can you believe that? Now think about it. I was just like, no way, no way. And she's like, yeah. She said, I didn't know why I was going to the library. And she says, I'm telling you, I never go to the library. And they just happened to cut my electricity. That's God. That is God. And you know what? The awesome thing about God is when you start seeing him work, he does things 10 steps ahead of us. He arranges things 10 steps ahead of us. And this is how things have been unraveling for me and Chris lately. He's always ahead. He's been ahead of us for the last couple weeks and stuff like this just keeps happening and happening and happening. So now we're going to be in the newspaper and we're going to be working with um, the lady at the prevailer. And this ministry is just taking off. So, so anyway, I, I, there's a lot more to share. But on this beautiful Sabbath morning, I really wanted to just um, tell you, uh, just share that witness with you. And, um, and, and I want I wanted to read one thing real quick here to feed you guys. So besides all this powerful stuff happening, there's been a lot of spiritual battles. And I have had my ups and downs within the last couple of weeks. When you hear my testimony, you're not going to believe it. Um, it's been crazy what's been happening. There's been a lot of oppression. Uh, Satan has been in the mix. Uh, there's been uh, a, tr a hindrance to stopping our ministry. And um, during all this, God continues to pour out his spirit. But um, on August 14th, in the midst of all of this, I want to read you this because this is what helped. This is what the Lord brought me to understand that you're going through this and there's a purpose. And it was from John 19:11 where it said, you would have no power over me if it were not given to you from above. Now listen to this. Nothing that is not part of God's will is allowed to come into the life of someone who trusts and obeys him. Listen to this. This truth should be enough to make our life one of ceaseless thanksgiving and joy because God's will is the most hopeful, pleasant, and glorious thing in the world. And you know what? I so needed that. I so needed that because at this time, there were a lot of not good things happening. Uh, in order for me to get to, I had to go through one of, a very, very, very difficult trial in which it wasn't so much about the ministry, it was about me walking in God's character, responding how God would respond. Um, and I tell you, it, it, it was difficult, but the Lord brought me through it. This, And it is because, because of God's will. And, and in order, whatever you're going through right now in life, you got to get in line and understand and accept and be willing to follow God's will. Because <laughs> that truth, if we trust and obey him, his will for us is going to be the most hopeful and pleasant and glorious thing in the world. In the world. So listen to this. Oh, I'm this. It says, it is the continuous work of his omnipotent power for our benefit with nothing to to prevent it, if we remain surrendered in believing. And this is what it comes down to. Are you willing to surrender? Are you willing to surrender so that his will can be done in your life? If you're not willing to surrender, walk away. I mean, this is serious. God is calling us. And in order for him to do the work and his will to be done, and in order for you to have joy and peace, and prosperity, you got to surrender. You have to surrender. So listen to this. Isn't it glorious to know that no matter how unjust something may be, even when it seems to have come from Satan himself, by the time it reaches us, by it reaches us, it is God's will for us and will ultimately work to our good. So whatever you're going through, just remember, it may look like it came from Satan, and it may come from Satan himself, but by the time it reaches you, it will be God's will, and it will be for his good. Because you know what? Think about Romans 8.28, and we know that all things good works for the good of those who love him 
You need to claim and own that scripture. You need to walk in it. And finally, in closing, it says we live fascinating lives if we are living in the center of God's will. All the attacks that Satan hurls at us through the sins of others are not only powerless to harm us, but are transformed into blessings along the way. They're transformed into blessings. And I'll tell you what, everything that has happened to me within the last couple weeks, and, and, and all of my friends, all the stuff that's happening in their lives right now, has been transformed into blessings. Seek God's will. And I'll, I'll add a little description about our ministry. And um, I had a hijack of my PayPal account. Um, not the account itself, but my email address. So if anybody has a heart to donate and help, we have a really awesome ministry that is just starting. And I never ask for money, but you know what? Me and Chris, we are asking for donations if it is on your heart to donate. We need funds to get the ministry up and rolling. We want to distribute material. We want to, there's so many things we want to do. So if you have a heart for ministry, this is the children's ministry. It's called Keystone Community Builders. And um, we are just praying for blessings from above. And they're already pouring in. But that's what I'm going to be doing full time. And Chris is part of it. He's, he's kind of the lead. <laughs> And I'm kind of the follower. Um, he, we came up, with, he came up with a beautiful Logan. I'll post that at the end of this video. And um, my email account is where you would send anything if you want to donate um, to PayPal. And if you need my address to send um, money or check or something, please do. But pray for our organization. And if you have any talents and um, you think you can help in other areas, we, I'm, I'm, I'm looking. I need, I need help. We need help. God is pouring out His Spirit right now in this ministry, and um, we're just, we've been overwhelmed, <laughs> but in a good way. So God bless you. Happy Sabbath, and I hope this touched somebody's life. <laughs> Hang on, guys. Hang on. Hang on. Yeah. Oh, we gotta do that one. Yeah. You are my son.